Hi, my name is Dames, and today I am playing the new beta for Once Human. Now, I never actually got the chance to play the beta for the very first time, which I do believe was a couple of months ago now, but they have updated the game even further, and from what I've seen, it looks absolutely incredible. I honestly believe this has the potential to be one of the best MMO, especially MMO survival games of this year, and maybe even one of the best ever made. Our lives have followed a long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Our world is broken, stagnant, Fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness. Even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death, once life returns to this world. We'll meet beyond that path. Here we are then in Once Human. Now it's time to create our very first character. And by the looks of it, there's a lot of options. Now, after spending more than I probably should have in the character customization screen, I made this dude. He looks absolutely nothing like me. He has a beard and long hair, so I suppose that will do. But yeah, it's pretty in-depth, not going to lie. So let's name the character then and complete the creation. And of course, my name is Dames. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. Subject status stable. Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach. <laughs> I guess we are waking up then, and honestly, it doesn't look great out there. Now, like I said, guys, I've never played this. I have seen some videos here and there. I've seen clips, but I have no idea what this game is even about, or even the story, but let's remove whatever this thing is stuck in us right now. Ouch. Looks like we're being released from some sort of chamber, I guess. I'll definitely take the health, that is for sure. If we shove that in our body, we'll feel absolutely fine. Use activator. Let's 
Okay then, move the mouse to adjust the camera. Pretty standard. Explore the lab and find the password. Okay, so we actually got some more stuff in this medical bag here. I'm just going to take it all. I'm sure it's going to be useful. Always keep an eye out on your stamina, sanity, hydration, energy, and health points. Consume food and drink to increase your energy and hydration. It's a good idea to keep them. Couldn't read that fast, but essentially what it's saying is those four bars at the bottom, I'm assuming, is something we definitely need to keep on. And as I mentioned, this is an absolutely brutal survival game, but in an MMO format. So this is definitely right up my alley. We do actually have a memo here if we investigate it. Access code for the chrono cage experiment area must be changed daily. Today's code for D23 is experiment date is 0728. So let's remember that 0728. The code has been updated and confirmed by Supervisor Jing. S0641. Update the code after completing today's experiment. Be informed. Okay. We do have a Rosetta researcher here. Some of these things are actually marked out so i don't know what the race and the gender of this person is identity unknown subject has been impaled by an object kind of feel you buddy we just got the same treatment oh we don't actually have to remember the password it does look like we have found it and it is actually shown up on the top left which is amazing because i was going to take a photo of it but that's good 0728 oh it looks like we're gonna have to head up this way then 0728 Verified. I've got another Rosetta researcher here. An intact cradle was recovered near subject A073 with a design and manufacture consistent of those by the mayflies. Energy stored within the cradle shows unusual signs of activity and seems to become more volatile when near subject A073. The cradle has been placed in a separate room from safekeeping until more research can be conducted. Interesting. So now we've got to find a access card to enter this room here. Now all these things are just floating around. Doesn't look like there's much gravity on whatever place we're at or where we're at. From what I've seen of this game, the story and kind of the landscape around it all and what the world is, it looks absolutely just mental. So... I really can't wait to jump into this, but Rosetta God here. Notes can be found and scattered all over the world. Read them to learn more. Okay, good to know. This is a priority alpha research operation. Any findings related to it or Project Butterfly must be directly reported to someone. This operation has been designated top secret. Any personnel who violate this confidentiality will be subject to termination. Well, looks like this guy didn't make it regardless, so... This is probably not too bothered about that now. Now, in terms of jumping, then, I don't think there's like any lack of gravity for us. Looks like it's just pretty standard jumping from our guy here. We can go up this way. We have another med kit here and some sanity gummies. Tasty. We're always going to take gummies and some boiled water as well. An observation report. Deviation of unknown level detected in the research area. Consists of multiple floating butterflies. So there seems to be a very big emphasis on butterflies in this game. Now I have seen some stuff like I say but I don't know the full story so... I guess we'll just have to wait and find out what all of this means eventually. And if any of you guys have already played this game, please get down in the comments and let me know kind of what your thoughts are on it. And of course, any tips and tricks, because I think I'm going to be playing this for as long as the closed beta is available. So we have, of course, the access card. And now we can get into this room here. That was us. This is not creepy at all, looking at ourselves right now. Oh, we're not looking at ourselves. Okay, we now have a backpack on and a burb to talk to. Talk to this strange bird. 
Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman too. A metahuman? I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, and that's something only a metahuman can do. Do you remember who you are? Honestly, no idea at this point. Nope. It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, metahuman. <laughs> but you're a talking bird. True. I used to be like you once. A metahuman. But it's a long story, and now is not the time. Okay, fair enough. Why are you here? I came to secure a deviation, a paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. Okay, sure. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. Listen to a random talking bird that we've just met. Seems like a good plan, but this place seems super creepy, so I don't think we've really got an option here. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so we've got this here. Weapon crate. I mean, I'm not going to say no to a weapon crate. Machete. Nice. You can equip two ranged weapons at once and one melee weapon. Okay. So it actually looks like we're in the exact same place we just was. What the hell? Put weapon away is H. I don't know if I want to put my weapon away right now. Um, I'm guessing these aren't friendly. This is a lifeline that has been infected with Stardust. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starpoint. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of Stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like you. But you're a metahuman. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. I mean the combat feels pretty smooth as well I've heard a lot of good things about the combat in this game and yeah it does feel great but what the hell those things are creepy man what have we got over here and the gear crate I mean I'll take some what we got a hat nice <laughs> definitely gonna protect us okay we can actually open our backpack now as well we have different gear slots that obviously have different or HP, resistance, and well, two different resistances apparently. I feel like it mentioned we can have two ranged weapons and a melee weapon, different clothing items as well. Can't wait to really explore that further down the line. It does look like we can actually look at all the things we have looted as well. Obviously, this game is a survival game, a lot of looting, a lot of crafting that I'm sure we'll get into. So I feel like this is going to be filled up pretty quickly. We also have our cradle, which may be some form of upgrades potentially. And we'll have to wait and see when that gets unlocked. Blueprints as well, so we can craft different weapons, which they look pretty badass. Mods as well that we can put on our weapons. Cosmetics as well. I'm assuming we can find different ways we want to make our character look. We have another one of those things here. We can actually roll. <laughs> Take some more flatbread, tasty flatbread. We also have another weapon crate here. Molotov cocktail, don't mind if I do. Okay, so this is completely different now. As you can see, there's like these portal esque doors. Okay, so we're actually over this side now. You actually have a flashlight. Another gear crate as well. Shoes. I'll definitely be taking some shoes. Don't be walking around in barefoot. A creepy girl with a blindfold on. Okay.
Press Q to use space time and investigate the area. Okay, Q. Activate space time to locate the spectral theater where events and people from the past may reappear. Interesting. So let's go over here. Click our fingers. My name is Victor Hammond. What's your name? I don't know. I just know I'm a monster. My mom, my dad, they're gone. It was all my fault. Hey, hey, Victor. Try and stay calm. I'm here to help you. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I just... Just leave me alone, please. I'm afraid I can't do that. Not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your own strength. Once you do that, we can help you fix this broken world. We can do that together. Hey, interesting. So this young girl thinks she's some kind of monster. My butterfly. It's flying. Yes. Another butterfly as well. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. See, there's loads of these butterflies. There's piles of them everywhere. Is this girl responsible for making them potentially? We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. She's flying. You, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayfly? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Have a look what's in this box here as well. An item crate. Metal scraps and fabric. I'm assuming that's going to be crafting items further down the line. Another supply crate down here as well. More food. Okay, we actually are a bit hungry and thirsty, so let's eat some. Okay, so we are actually full and we've got plenty of water as well so that is nice and full as well oh my god that thing is horrible it's got like a briefcase for a head quickly loot this box before Gloves and some more crafting materials. Control. Okay. We're shooting out. I don't even know what we're shooting out. We're shooting blobby grossness out of a briefcase. I mean, any weapon will do, I guess, in this environment. The deviation. We found it. Reach out your left hand. See if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. Pure probability, and we have it. An, a butterfly. Item obtained. I'm assuming these butterflies are really important, like I say. No, I have no idea what is going on, but this looks absolutely badass, like I say. And now we are in the normal world? I don't really know. We're in like a... Well, it looks definitely a lot more normal than where we just were, that's for sure. But it looks like some type of base with turrets and solar powered kind of energy and we go inside the house well there's the girl can we talk to her B, you're still alive yes and look what i found a meadow only just woken up okay v's here as well 
They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, MetaHuman. This means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. Mitsuko? I used to be a MetaHuman as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. I can tell you've got but wings. Until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. So we were all test subjects. That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. That's when they started their experiments, in the name of human progress, creating metahumans like me and you. To Rosetta, we're the future. And you're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta, but we don't take orders from them anymore. We left. We call ourselves the Mayflies now, and we do things differently. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. What Starfall? About 20 years ago, Rosetta triggered a major stardust fluctuation during one of their experiments. As a result, some great ones slipped through, entering into our world. They brought increased levels of stardust with them. That poison has seeped into every corner of our world now, spawning countless deviants and other dangers. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. So this paper butterfly is a deviation you were looking for? Yes, an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. All right, let's place the butterfly in this little box here. Deposit. The butterfly is recovered. That's super cool. I think it likes you. Okay, so this looks like it's potentially some form of like base hub power source and when we make bases i don't really know deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of they can radiate stardust which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences this is why we created the mayflies we make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. So what exactly are deviations anyway? No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. I mean, from the things I've seen so far, they're absolutely horrific. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall, sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. Great. So what exactly are you trying to do? Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Also, the stardust just keeps spreading, and we aren't sure why. Fine, chilling roar. Great. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meadow. Deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't go down without a fight. Oh Take god. A butterfly with you. It can help. Okay, yeah, let's check this out first. I feel like we're about to need some weapons, so I'll take a rustic jacket and some ammo.
some more fabric in here as well. The armor slot show armor you currently have equipped. Okay. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to wear this, obviously. Your current deviations basic stats are displayed on the top left-hand corner. It will slowly recover from when the power is dormant. Okay. Makes sense. Your current deviation skills are displayed on the right. Different deviations have different skills. Click to sync with your combative deviation with your cradle. Okay, let's synchronize. Control deviation. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're logging get log and mining stone. So I'm guessing this is some kind of like tutorial then. Smacking a rock with a rock to get more rock. Nice. Oh, and as you can see, the butterfly is in our little backpack there. And the fact we can use it is something new, potentially. I don't remember ever seeing that from the initial game, but... Over to this tree. Nice. Now we can actually set up a campsite. We'll just... I mean, we do have a massive house here, but sure, we'll press T. Um, we'll just put it here for now. Why not? Using simple crafting bench in a campsite to make basic gear, tools, dishes good enough for emergency. In survival campsite, make a rustic bow. Okay, so let's go over to craft gear. Make a bow. Oh, no, we can't. We need some more wood, obviously. Well, let's chop some more trees down then. Okay, we have more than enough wood, I think, now. We can actually craft stuff with our bare hands as well. We can toggle between them. So crafting items like a pickaxe and different foods and ointments. Weapon crafting, as we've already seen. And we can craft armor as well. Nice. So let's make the crossbow. First and foremost, so at least we can defend ourselves. And let's set that as our primary weapon. So let's make a pickaxe first of all. So we managed to pick up our pickaxe and we also have the five arrows. Nice. Gathering tools. Equip a gathering tool before you start collecting resources. It's much faster. Makes perfect sense. All right, let's go back to the base then. Fight. Okay, guess we're fighting. Oh my god, what on earth? What the hell is this thing? It's absolutely disgusting. He's absolutely huge as well. Um, I have a feeling we might not be able to do anything with a crossbow at this point. Well, maybe we're gonna have to. Is there no other weapons available to us? This siren, so strong. Oh God. Okay. Well, guess we're using a crossbow. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Okay. Auto attack. You for yourself what it's capable of. Go, butterfly, go. I don't even know if the butterfly is doing anything. I mean, I'm not going to lie. We're actually kind of dealing with this pretty easily. Oh, there's the butterfly.
get absolutely wrecked. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. That thing was terrifying. Okay, well, easy then, I guess. Control and secure the Deviant. It escaped. That's annoying. Well, let's go back into the house then and see what else they have to say. The deviation has escaped. Damn, it escaped. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks to you, Meta. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you've saved me. <laughs> that thing was huge. How did it get in here? It's like I said. We think deviations are sometimes capable of passing between the physical world and rift space. It could be wreaking havoc in the physical world right now, even as we speak. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you've saved me. Where did it go? The physical world? Yes. Hisuko created this rift space, a refuge from the dangers of the physical world, or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? It's possible. We just can't sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Seems like we don't really have a choice. So we're not in the physical world right now as well. That's interesting. Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Thanks. Hopefully, we'll meet again one day. I'm sure we will. It looks like this is goodbye. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. Oh god. Getting sucked in, or sucked out, should I say. This game has so much going on. The story is kind of a bit insane. And now we're falling out of a door in the sky. And now we're playing Fortnite. Where are we dropping, boys? Right. Um. Okay. And the world is still infested with stardust. It looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated too. They might hold the key to all this stardust pollution. Right, so I'm guessing we're in the game properly now. We are in the open world. And obviously, like I did mention, this is a survival MMO. So there's going to be other players somewhere around here. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of campsites around already. People have already been building their bases. We're going to be encountering loads of other people with, yeah, already massive structures, as you can see. Someone has built a base here, here. I suppose we kind of want to not land anywhere where there's already bases. The territory terminal forms the basis of your territory and defines the area which you can build. Now, the question is, where are we going to build our very first base? Looks like there is actually some loot here as well. I'm definitely not saying no to that. We found quite a lot of things, actually. Now, I don't know what any of this stuff is useful for at the moment, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. There's wild animals running around as well. I mean, do we need to kill them for food? I kind of don't want to, but at the end of the day, it is a survival game. Now, this looks like an ideal place to pop up a base on this hill, but someone has stolen it. Even though it doesn't look like they're actually using it right now. Now, it's not the most optimal place in the world, but I've been traveling around for ages now. 
this is the problem when you jump on a server a few days too late but it looks like we're just gonna have to put our base down here nice work i've managed to unlock cinematics from mitsuko if you access them through your cradle you'll be able to craft and build what we need Okay, so if we open our build menu then, it looks like we've got floors for wooden foundations, of course, walls. Yeah, let's just build out this thing, I guess. We might as well make the most of this area that we've got. It is quite a big area. It's not the best, but we'd definitely be able to build a solid structure here. And it also looks like we've actually run out of logs and gravel as well. So let's gather some resources. So after mining for some resources, I built out the initial... I suppose foundations we actually have a pretty big house i'm not gonna lie if we go over to walls then now how does this work is this showing us this is the outside okay nice press tab to call out the function wheel and select the cradle to enter the memic screen okay so cradle and this is how i'm assuming we learn how to make different infrastructure okay we have crafting managing for like stoves so we're actually going to want wood doors and windows that's definitely something we're going to want to be able to use if we confirm or do we have to click on wood support first okay wood support and then wood doors and windows as we're building our base and i think roofs will definitely be useful as well now we can actually learn smelting essentials. I don't know if we're going to be needing that right now. Crafting, munition, gear. I mean, we're, we're definitely going to be needing all of this in the long term. But we have completed, obviously, that first mission. Open the screen to get the disassembly bench as well as unlock the furnace. Okay, so that is definitely something we're going to need to do. We do have four available. So disassembly bench melting even with memetics you still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air we better gather some ore and logs okay so it's asking us to gather some more gravel as well so we can make these things but i think first and foremost let's actually build a roof over our heads so as you can see we've actually unlocked door frames now so we'll put the door down here i think that's a good place to put it and a window wall here as well okay so we now have walls which is amazing now, I don't know if I'm going to want to make this two-story yet. I'm assuming long-term I'm going to want to. But I think we'll keep it like this just for the time being until we decide what we're going to potentially do with the base itself. It's actually asking us to gather some gravel right now so we can make some of these new machinery things that we've unlocked. So, yeah, let's go find some rocks. Looks like we have a rock here. Of course, we do have this pickaxe that we've got as well now. So if we go into facilities we have a furnace now i'm just going to pop that here for the time being until we actually get everything organized use the furnace to refine raw materials into something more practical we need it for advanced items ores become much more useful once turn them into pure metal amazing so we need to Firing charcoal and melting some copper ignits. All right, let's make some charcoal then. It said it wanted 10, so we'll make that. Nice. And now we can make some copper ignits, which of course is from the copper ore and then the 10 charcoal that we got earlier on. that is sorted we have some copper bars now which i'm pretty sure we're going to be making some great use out of and now we also need to make a disassembly bench so if we go over into facilities again and the disassembly bench i suppose we'll just pop it here nice this is a strong foundation for us to build upon i've set up a journey interface to help track our progress for each task you complete you'll unlock some supplies we can use all right, nice. So if we press J. So far, what we've got won't do much against those deviants out there. We need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. 
Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. I've marked their locations on your map. Okay, amazing. So we're going to have to go and loot some Rosetta facilities, get some more resources, build these things, and unlock different ways to get XP. So we actually have done this very first one here, build a disassembly bench. So we can claim some 50 experience points and energy link. Also done the architect ones. We've done build a wall. Oh, it actually auto selects them all. Nice. That would have been a bit of a pain if we had to go all the way down and claim them individually. So we do have our first mission and first place to go then. Go to the monolith ruin to search for some supplies. And it looks like it literally is just over here. Really not far away at all. And of course, I haven't actually shown this. Just clicked M and we can actually do pathing for different quests as well. But this map is pretty big. There's a lot going on. And like I say, it is an MMO. So of course, it's going to be big. There's going to be a lot of different player built structures everywhere. Just makes it feel awesome and alive, really. Now, we do have this building here. Now, I'm assuming these are... NPCs. So this is looks like it's like an NPC base with are these like traders potentially? Shop. Okay, that's cool. So this energy link that we get from completing those other objectives, we can actually spend them. Looks like in these like camps here with these friendly NPCs, and we can trade with them. Awesome. But anyway, let's not get too distracted. We do want to get over to this objective over here and go to the monolith rift. And as you can see, this is someone's base and they actually have a motorcycle, which I didn't know there was actually going to be vehicles in this game, but that is so cool. <laughs> Looks like we have a few other people here. One is dancing for the other one. That is the cool thing about MMOs. It's the fact that you can jump on with a bunch of friends or meet strangers and just kind of vibe with them. It's great. And also, I must say, this game is obviously in beta right now. It is a closed beta. So if you do want access to that, I'll leave a link down below on the website. You do have to join the Discord. That is how I got access. But they are giving out like 70,003 beta codes right now. Don't know off the top of my head how long it's going to last for, but I'm sure it's a while. The first one lasted a very long time. It looks like the area we wanted to go to is just up ahead. Can we potentially climb up? Oh, okay. Nice. We can just climb up here. Hopefully, it has some decent supplies for us to kind of carry us on on our very early journey into Once Human. So in terms of what we've got to do here, then we've got to search the area first and foremost and find some supply boxes and supply crates. I don't know if there's going to be any enemies. I think that has answered my question. Get absolutely wrecked. Okay, that was one down. What's this over here? I oh, will take a launcher. Definitely take a launcher. If we can make a rocket launcher out of that, that's going to be super useful. Looks like we found some more ammunition here as well. Another supply crate some more metal parts not entirely sure what we're gonna have to be doing with them yet but i'm sure we'll find out i want us to check out this building as well i'm gonna keep my flashlight on looks like it is empty a blanket alarm clock another supply crate fabric and some more activators as well for some health what an absolute headshot Oh, we've got a NPC here. Talk to Mary. Talking to the strange woman in front of you. Get your hands off my stuff. <laughs> you always introduce yourself so politely. You're pretty cocky for someone who doesn't even have a weapon. Hey, I've got a crossbow. I'll let you know. Hold on. Is that a cradle on your back? Interesting. Thought I was the only Mayfly left. No, there's actually quite a few of us. One is a small woman or girl. I can't really tell how old she is. And a bird. So, 
Yeah, since we're both Mayflies, what's your name? I'm Mary. I came here to investigate a deviation that's been causing issues. I think it's connected to a recently reopened monolith nearby. I've been chasing a deviation too. Don't tell me you're going to try and take on a powerful deviation barehanded. Even an ordinary deviant could tear you apart right now. For a mayfly, you're pretty inexperienced, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I've only been playing for about an hour, so... I'm going to give you a blueprint. Use it to make yourself a gun. Oh, nice one, Mary. While you're doing that, I have other matters to attend to. Once you're done, come find me in Deadspell. It's the nearest survivor settlement. We can plan our next steps from there. After all, two heads are better than one. So another Mayfly survived, yet I can't remember her. My memory's been patchy ever since Matsuko revived me. Just to be safe, it's better not to share everything we know with everyone, especially about Matsuko. That blueprint is rock solid, though. We could use it to make a real gun. I definitely would appreciate a normal gun. Return to personal territory. Territory teleport recommended. We can teleport. Okay, I didn't actually know that. So if we click on here, we can teleport back home. The disassembly bench will let you take objects you've scavenged and break them down into useful materials. All right, let's go to disassembly bench then. Allows you to take any scrap you've collected, disassemble it into usable materials. I suppose we have all this scrap here, so let's just select all and just disassemble it. And we have so much stuff. Wow. Our next objective then, open the memetic screen and unlock the gear workbench and unlock ammunition one. So we're going to want to go down over to crafting and essential tools. Ammunition one. And gear workbenches. And looks like we're going to want to build both of these things, obviously. We've actually unlocked so much stuff now, we've managed to get those. So, we're going to want a gear workbench. We don't have enough copper ingots. Okay, so this is where the building comes into play. So let's make as much charcoal as we possibly can. Make as many copper ingots. You know how survival games work. It's a slow grind, but God, it's worth it. Okay, so after making a lot more resources and gathering, we can actually start to make a few of these things. So if we place the supplies workbench down here. If we go over to the supplies, we can actually make gunpowder, different pickaxes, different ammo and arrows. And we've also crafted a lot of copper ingots and we have a lot of metal scrap, etc. So we can make the gears workshop as well. Place that down here. Great. We can use that blueprint to make both guns and ammo. If you want to make ammo, though, you'll need to do it at a synthesis bench. Right, so if we go weapon craft, okay, crafting weapons. Unlock blueprints at the gear workshop. Select a higher tier to craft a weapon with a better stats. That makes perfect sense. So we're actually gonna need to make a pistol frame first of all. Then a recoil action. Then also a pistol slide. But we do actually have enough material. So let's craft the pistol frame. Craft a recoil action and craft a pistol slide. And hold to confirm. And we have our very first firearm. Nice. No bullets yet, but we definitely can craft them. Now, I think this is where I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, smash the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all the content. Like I say, this game is absolutely amazing. There's a closed beta going on right now if you go check out their website and Discord, of course. I honestly think this has the potential to be the best MMO of this year in 2024, but maybe just one of the best MMOs ever made. It feels great. It plays great. The story is intriguing. All the systems seem to work from what I've seen so far and what other videos I've seen of this. And of course, if you do want to see more of this on my channel, I'm going to be playing this off camera a hell of a lot. So let me know in the comments down below. I'd happily do more than one video on this one. But I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.